What if I told you there was an ancient sugar genie known to make the most majestic couture creations of all time? Where may she be hiding? Just check your kitchen. Are you here for a wish? Cause I don't have any left. <laughs> you have awakened me from my 162 year beauty sleep. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Butter. Cream to the genie, you know. I am here to grant you two wishes. It used to be three, however people got greedy. Where are my manners? Hey, Cake Nistas. It is Marisha Genie. We are going to celebrate the remake of Aladdin, one of my favorite movies since I was probably like four years old. I just used to watch it on repeat. You know, my VHS tape got ruined. So, um, but I, I still have it. I still have Pocahontas, Beauty and the Beast. I still have all of my VHS tapes. I don't throw nothing away. Wow, should I, should I be in the shadow in the cave of uh, wonders or should I come out to the light? I've been wanting to do another face cake for a very long time. Me doing the face cakes was like opening up a whole new world for me. A whole new world. A dazzling place I never knew. I'm way up here. I'm in a whole new world. Every time no surprise. <laughs> Today, I'm going to make a genie cake. I'm going to make it as realistic as I possibly can. Although, as usual, I had a little bit of, you know, a few mishaps and mistakes, but it's okay. This is my brother after all. Wrong film. I'm ready to grant you guys some wishes. However, I do have a wish of my own. I want you guys to subscribe to the channel and press on the notification bell. And then we can get started. Okay, cake nistas, I am starting off with a nine by nine inch square cake. I have my template here. This was actually just a printout that I found on Google. I'm gonna cut around his head. I had to remove his ears. There's some pretty big ears and I definitely just need the outline of that face for now as well as the beard. So I'm gonna cut out the cake. And this is why I really can't stand these silicone <laughs> pans because I'm so certain every time that all of the cake is going to come out and then most of it is left in the pan. Either way, I'm going to take a little bit of frosting and make a cake dough by kneading it into the cake crumbs until it feels like putty. And then I'm going to use this for his bone structure later on. So for now, I'm going to put that template back onto the cake and I'm going to use an X-Acto knife and just cut out the eyes. I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom of the cake, just about a half inch. And then the same goes for the mouth. I figure instead of just cutting out the template, I might as well cut out the cake at the same time. So initially you're going to see me just remove the center of the mouth where his tongue is. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually remove where the teeth are as well. As you can see, I'm going to try to attempt to crumb coat this cake, which it's really not working. So it's going to look a little scary for now. Let's just, you know, work with it. I'm going to take some of that cake dough and create his bone structure because he is making a very, very huge grin in the picture. We need this to look like a cheeky, cheeky grin. I'm also going to use a little bit of the cake for his brow bone. I'm going to surround the eyes as well to create a little bit of a socket effect. It looks like there's a little bit of dimension in his chin area, so we're going to add some cake dough to that as well. Once again, this looks very weird.
But in order for me to finish crumb coating it, I'm going to need to freeze it. So I froze it for about an hour and then I went back with some frosting and attempted to cover the whole cake. Once again, I'll freeze it, do a little bit more frosting, then go in with my gloves. I love going in with clean hands and gloves and just molding and shaping that frosting around the cake. And after I do that, this is what it looks like. It's making a little bit more sense. Now I'm going to add a little bit of blue buttercream. Now the purpose for this was to initially get more of an idea, more of a feel of how it was going to look once the fondant was on there. I also remember that realistically I may have cracks and it's best if you have cracks for the frosting underneath to be the same color as the fondant so that it's not so obvious. However this just looks a hot mess. I don't know why I put that blue buttercream on the cake. I really thought it was gonna do something. This buttercream was sitting out for a little bit too long. So I think it started to crust. Once it crusted, I mixed it by hand really quickly thinking that was gonna do something. So when I put it onto the cake, it just looked like, why, Marisha, why? So I went back and put the cake back in the freezer. That's my safe space, I feel like. And I actually used this frosting to create a bridge on the top of the nose. I also created the shape of his nose with some black fondant, which I was able to sit on top. Now we're gonna make the blue fondant. This is my marshmallow fondant. I colored it with Wilton's Blue. And I'm just gonna cover the entire cake. At this point, the cake is frozen so that I can really mold and shape the fondant to the cake without too many issues. However, with that being said, the cake will get super stiff very fast, so you have to work pretty quickly. And then you're also going to see a lot of condensation as the cake falls out. Now I'm going to take my airbrush machine and I put a little bit of blue gel dye with water in the machine and I'm just going to spray around where his face would have shadow and extra structure like around his cheeks and his eye sockets. And now I'm going to use some white fondant to cut out the teeth. I have him over there just looking crazy, all types of crazy. He's got one eye looking at us and one eye looking behind him and down. His teeth are moving all around him. So as you can see, I'm just creating the indentations of each individual tooth. They're pretty big teeth. They are some large teeth. I cut out the tongue area from the template and I'm going to make a pink fondant and cut out that tongue. And then I need to create that indentation in the very center using a fondant tool or the back of a knife would work as well. I put the template of the eyes onto white find it and cut out the shapes of the eyes as well. And now I can attempt to put everything together. I felt like I was doing surgery. I had to kind of crack his jaw a little bit to make those teeth fit. But in the, you know, cake world and in the medical world, sometimes that's what you have to do. Now that those pieces are attached with water, I'm going to cut out his beard, which I also removed from the template and I'm going to cut out his eyebrows as well and this is really when his facial features start to make sense everything starts to come together and you're like okay this is the genie I'm not just doing this for nothing it actually is gonna look like him seriously for a long time it was looking like the ghost from Ghostbusters the green one and I was super worried and I feel like a part of that being worried was that mouth those teeth don't look quite right you guys so before we fix that I'm attaching the beard I felt like the beard needed more dimension so I'm adding rolls of fondant to really make that stand out 
and he also has a cute little curly cue of a beard as well which I'm gonna add Now we're going to make his hair and that's just a rolled up piece of fondant he has the easiest little bit of hair to make ever in the world. It's like the cutest little ponytail, almost like an 80s, 90s swag. And then I'm going to add a little bit of texture and then wrap a bit of white fondant around his little ponytail. And of course we have to paint that gold, so I'm using my luster dust, which honestly, I added a little bit of alcohol to. I shouldn't have done that. It was much better when I just painted it on dry. And then I remember my bro needs some ears because I was definitely about to wrap up the video until I'm like, okay, wait, he needs ears. He's got a huge gold hoop earring in his right ear. So we definitely have to make that happen as well. Once everything is together, he is complete. You can see in the mouth area, I went in with a black gel marker and I just painted that little black gap to make it look like an actual mouth. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm picking Broski's nose because that's what we do. We're siblings. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. I never cut into my cakes. So not only am I going to cut into the cake in this video, but I'm actually going to destroy it a little bit. So this, uh, this hurt, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Couture and a genie cake. Bye guys. I sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This was so much fun to do. I will answer your wishes down below. Just comment, let me know what videos you would like to see from me next. Thought I saw a bug. Also, I want you guys to check out my previous video. I did another cake tale, which you guys really love. Check out the Slappy Cake, the Grinch Cake, other fun cakes. If you love food cakes, I have plenty of those and I have some coming up. Thank you guys for visiting me. I hope that you decide to rub my home again and i will see you guys soon bye cake nieces